But look, see, I got another flower. Every little nook and cranny, I want to have like a flower area with trees connected to the fencing. If you go to that Pastelia video, she's got something very, very similar. And it looks really good. It really makes, it's what makes the island stand out. Because otherwise, you just got a bunch of empty space. But if you put a ton of flowers and stuff in these spots, suddenly it's got a lot more character built into it. And look, I could probably put two fences on this side to make a path and then put flowers in between that path too. Yeah, I've got, okay, so there's a lot I need to do, but I need to do it once I go to the next day. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna place this. Where do I have this in my hand? I'm gonna plant this and then we're gonna move on to the next day. Oh, I see what happened. I had picked it up so I could plant a tree here. Let me go ahead and do that before I forget. But they need to be the same. It needs to be the same tree. We don't want it to look funky, right? Put one sap on it. Put. Do you have any peach trees anywhere? Oh, wait. I got peaches in my pocket. Perfect. Okay. Then we'll come over here and dig up this spot. Be there. Now you see where we're already going to have a problem. I'm not going to be able to come through here once that tree gets planted. That's already telling me that's not going to work out. So I'm going to go ahead and just do what I said I was going to do before. Plant this here. Wow, you didn't know you can. Oh, wait, you already said that. Sorry. Do you have a nice bed? This game won't give me a bed to save my life. Oh, I've got a ton of a ton of beds. Most of the most of the stuff in this game is built around DIY, right? Because we're on an island. So I've got a ton of recipes I've accumulated. And if we go to furniture, like I've got a wooden bed, I've got a wooden double bed. I've got There's one more bed, I'm pretty sure. Yep. The ironwood bed. Most people like the ironwood set. They like all the ironwood stuff because it's just the best looking pieces. It really is. So like the cup, the cupboard, the cupboard. I'm, I haven't even like built my inner, my inner building yet. Like I haven't built inside my, my house yet. I've got stuff thrown in there that might kind of fit together, but there's no actual set in place, which is mostly going to be like blue, red, black, and maybe like a black, white or something like that, like a modern look, but probably not. I think I'm going to stick with blue and black or blue and red of some sort. But anyways, yeah, this cupboard is beautiful. If anything, you wanna to try to get your hands on this. Oh yes, I've got plenty, plenty, plenty. But uh, if you're, I mean, if you're looking for like a bed, like you absolutely just want a bed, feel free to like add me or something. I will send, I'll craft you a bed. Maybe if I actually get somewhat remotely done today, I can just open up my island and y'all can just come over and I can just drop stuff. I'll craft some things. You can bring me the materials or something. I'll craft it for you and then I'll just drop it and you can pick it up. Some of this stuff can be customized too. I know you, I don't know if, I mean, I, mean, I know most of you probably know that, but if you see the little brush at the top left, that means you can customize it. So this also has like four other different options in its blanket, the way its pillows looks, all that cool stuff. Juicy girl, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. <laughs> but yeah, so whatever you need. I think there's a pink option, a blue option, a black option, and a purple or maybe green option. There's a lot of different things. So yeah, just to, just to give you a heads up. I love that you can customize a lot of this stuff that's already customizable just by how it looks. I'm thinking on, I like, I still kind of want to change my, uh, my, um, campsite here. I'm thinking about making it more of a, of a black wood, but this is already dark wood. Like there isn't really a black wood look. So I guess I can't do that anyway. This is as dark as it gets. There's darker wood for like furniture and stuff. It's just that it doesn't, it doesn't fit for the for the wood logs. These things, if I were to go to customize, like watch, I'm gonna pick this one up and take it over here. 
customize. Here's my option. So here's dark wood. It's all that's as dark as it's gonna get. And you've got orange, you've got white, you've got white birch. Most people's favorite is the white birch. And then I just kind of like the dark wood. I would probably go for white birch myself if I absolutely wanted to change it. But I think I like the dark setting more. It just, it looks more natural. I mean, I know birch wood is a natural color, but for me, the dark wood just looks better overall. For my setup. My setup is just built around dark wood. So that's what I'm going to keep it at. Plus, you can't change the color of your fencing, which is silly. I hope they change that soon. You're pretty much new to the Switch. You only bought it because you wanted to play Luigi's Mansion and your friend told you about Animal Crossing. And now Animal Crossing is all you play. D yes, dude. Switches have sold out. I'm pretty sure that they're back on the market now, but every Switch sold out across the world or at least across the U.S. because of Animal Crossing. I guarantee you it's because of Animal Crossing. It is such a great game to play when you've got nothing better to do. It is just that second life kind of game where you just go in, you've got these adorable villagers that are always around that want to talk to you and stuff. And you can give them items, by the way. I don't know. A lot of people actually don't know that, especially if you're new to Animal Crossing. A lot of people don't know that. If you talk to them and you happen to have something that you can give them, you see that option? Every day, every villager you talk to, you can give them one item a day. So if I had something in here that I wanted to give him, he would put it either in his room, he would hang it on his door, or he would hang it on his wall. He would do any of those things based on what I give him. You can also give them outfits that they'll switch into right that moment, and then they'll flip, they'll shuffle between them each day, each day and during certain times of the day, they'll go into different outfits, and they'll wear the outfits that you got them. They also will buy stuff at the Mabel area, at the Mabel Center, and they'll wear that stuff too. So like, the, even your villagers are very customizable. You can make them look entirely different from how they start off, if you really wanted to. So yeah, this game's just got endless possibilities, man. You really wouldn't know, but you, you wouldn't think it, but this game is so beautifully made. And even then it still has annoying things, like how you can only craft one thing at a time, you can only uh, customize one thing at a time, you can only, pretty much a lot of the stuff that's a gripe is just the fact that you can only do things one at a time rather than in bulk. If they ever fix the point where you can do things multiple times at once, then they've just remedied like 85% of everyone's problems. You had Jack Heath as a villager. I, I'm starting to realize he was actually a very common villager to get. I, I didn't have him in my island, but I really liked the fact that he was a blue villager. And I was trying to go for like the all blue theme. So I'm glad that he's here. I'm really glad he's here. I, I got an amiibo card to get him. But most people just got him for free. My brother literally has him right now. But uh, you, they, if they talk about leaving, you don't have to make them leave. Like if you say don't go, they will stay every time. I've had 50, literally about 50 different times where they've always had a bubble on their head. They'll have like a little thinking expression and a bubble on their head. And they'll be, and they'll be in that position pretty much for like 10 minutes. Excuse me. So once you go up to them and they say, hey, yeah, I think I'm going to move. It, it was nice knowing you. You literally just hit the top option every time. Every time. Hit the top option. It's usually something around the lines of don't go. And they'll be like, oh, shucks. Well, since you put it that way, I won't leave. And they'll never leave. You got him for free. You wanted him to go because you were on the hunt for a pig. Oh, I feel you. He was the only option or like one of the, he was the lower option of the options you had to get rid of, to get the, the thing you really wanted. I feel that. I feel that big time. Luckily, I didn't really know what any of the villagers were at the time. And every single one that I wanted had an amiibo card. So I literally just went out of my way and bought amiibo cards for all of them. And that's how I got my villagers. Because if you have the campsite, which you'll get later, by the way, if you've just started and you haven't gotten your campsite yet, when you get the campsite, you can actually get amiibo cards. And after three days of interacting with them on the campsite, you can move them in, even if you have a full village. If there's 10 villagers and you have a campsite and you've talked to that villager three different times from your amiibo, you can move them in that third time and you can choose who you want to move out. You can also do that with any of the villagers that come through your campsite normally. Those ones, you can move in the same day 
and you can also choose who they move out. I believe, I've never done it myself, I've watched some videos, and that's what it looked like you could do. So just going off of videos on that one. But for the first one, when it comes to the amiibo, I know that's foolproof. I've done it like literally 10 times to get all 10 of my villages that I wanted. What's an amiibo? An amiibo card? Um, let me, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna just grab one. Give me a sec, I'm gonna just grab one. Okay. Amiibo card looks like this. If I can get it out of here, goodness. It looks like this. See? This one's Sterling. Sterling and uh, Chrissy, Francine, all of them. I have all of them on my island by the Amiibo cards through the campsite. That's all you gotta do. And they're yours forever. Did mine? They're just, yep, it sure did. I was like, what's going on there? Okay. Sorry, you're still learning. No, that's fine, man. That's what I'm here for. I love to help. Helping is what makes me breathe. <laughs> Can you buy Stitches? Let me go online and double check. I think Stitches is a OG. Not an OG OG, but they've been here long enough that they have an Amiibo card. So I'm gonna check for you right now. Yes, you can buy Stitches. Stitches is currently $15 though. Almost every card I have was under six. Stitches is a very, very huge fan favorite. So it might be a more difficult card to get your hands on without spending a big, amount of money but there is an option where you can get these little circular cards it's like just a little circular thing that's basically the scanner you can get it for like five dollars for any amiibo so if you want to if you like want stitches that badly that's what you would do you would go you would look for that five dollar card they'll probably have it delivered to you within the week and you'll probably have it by monday or tuesday and it's only five dollars so don't don't go spending $15 on these like super popular ones because that's what happened with Lily. You pulled that up fast. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I play on the internet. I play, uh, I have a, in a, what's it called? An Elgato where I can stream my Switch games through my computer. So no matter what I'm doing, I can just immediately switch to my, inter to, to, I can go to the internet while having my game up. So it works out. But yeah, so I had Lily and Lily cost almost $30, dude. She cost almost $30 to buy as an Amiibo card. I said, I ain't doing that. So there's this little other thing where you can buy just like the circular card that's specifically the scanner and only the scanner and not the uh, Amiibo itself. And it was only $5. And I got Lily for $5. So yeah, unless you just want to be, unless you want the authentic, uh, I can't say that word, the authenticity of the Amiibo card, don't waste your money on the Amiibo card. Just get the little circular bands for $5 and you can get any villager you want, except for the new ones. There is not an Amiibo for any of the new characters. So if you're looking for like, uh, uh, Lord, what's his name? With the two blue, with the blue eyes and the green eyes. Everyone wants him. How I forget his name? Ray, Ray, Raymond. You can't get Raymond. You can't get Ruby. I think her name is Ruby. She's like a, a blue and pink ice cream looking teddy bear, Raymond, yeah. So you can't get Raymond, you can't get Ruby. There's like three others you can't get because they're new, they don't have an amiibo yet. <clears throat> but everyone else, you pretty much can. See, look, I got bushes here. These are all shrubs. This is Chrissy and Francine's house. I still need to get Chrissy the fancy rose wreath to give to her and she'll hang it up on her door. So, so you see how Francine has the blue rose wreath on her door? She would only do that if you gave it to her. I, I crafted the blue rose wreath. I gave it to Francine. The next day, she hung it up. And it'll be there. It'll sit there forever. I did the same thing for Lily. Come over here. I gave her the green heart, little whatever the thing it's called. And I gave it to her. The next day, she hung it up. And there you go. It's been there ever since. Tons of customization, even for your villagers. Don't think that just because they have their own lives that you can't affect their lives. 
you have some sway in the things they do. Oh, and look, I still have some boarding left. I forgot about Bam needing to fix his fence up. Oh, this is great. This is really great. Do I want to keep it there? I think I want to kind of keep it there. Like, I'm still kind of tempted to just erase a lot of this pathing here. I feel like that's too much pathing. I don't think he needs that much. He would rather have yard because he's a he's a sporty guy, you know? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this off. Guys, it's so funny when you see, like, like I've, I've only streamed for so for like a month now, like straight. I stream like two, two times a week, maybe three. And man, dude, every time I forget how, how dry your mouth gets when you actually start talking to your audience. Because, woo, you're just like, wow, I was, I'm never this thirsty normally. But then you realize, due to all that vibration going on in your throat when you talk and stuff, your mouth gets dry quick. You got him off in off the island. What you actually have, Raymond? Juicy girl. Do you know how valuable your island is right now just because you have Raymond? And you know, if you didn't actually want Raymond, the day he has a question, uh, a bubble on his head and he's thinking and you talk to him. And by the way, when they have bubbles on their head, that doesn't always mean that they're trying to move out. Sometimes they're just here to give you stuff. They might try to sell you stuff. You didn't know he was popular? Well, I'm so glad I'm the one who can tell you that he is. He is the most popular and most sought after uh, villager right now due to his rareness, his freshness, AKA he's like a new villager in the game and his look, everyone likes him in every way. So you have the most expensive villager in the game right now. I think people are trying to sell him for about $60 on eBay and whatnot. So yeah, I would, I would keep hold of him. Absolutely. He looks like a teacher. Yeah, he looks like something. A lot of people like him. I personally like, like I, I like his design. I just don't like him, but I just like his design. Yes, dude, you have a character that you could literally go online and say, hey, I want $60. If you want this character, give me $60. You could sell him off for $60. Probably more. You never know. It's eBay. You can, all, you can do whatever you want on eBay. But yeah, he's a very sought after villager. He's a very expensive villager because you can only get him by luck or by an immense amount of painstaking farming. How do you tell your villager? So, oh, I'm sorry, I, I got sidetracked. So typically, if you walk up to your villager, they happen to have a bubble on their head and they're thinking, they'll also say something like, hmm, what to do now? What's my next move? Something like that. More or less, you've got about, I'd say a 50-50 chance that they're trying to move out. They'll tell you. As he talks, he'll be like, blah, 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 I'm moving out. And you'll have two options. You can hit the top option, which is a basically an option that says, I want to I want you to stay. You can hit a bottom option that basically says, Okay, see you later. I didn't want you anyway. So the next day, they'll prepare to move. So on that next day, you can start to ask your friend. You can you can go on Reddit or you can go on a Discord server and be like, Hey, Raymond's trying to move out. Who wants him? And because he's trying to move out in your town, someone can come to your island and they can talk to him. He'll talk about moving out and they can invite him to their island. But that can only be done to one person's island. You can't do it to everybody. As great as that would be, you can only give him away to one character. And then he can't be given away to anyone else afterwards. Well, that makes sense. Now you had a few people on your island following him and you never knew why. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's literally why they're like, oh my goodness, you have Raymond. I want Raymond. Do not get rid of Raymond unless you're planning on selling him or giving him to a close friend. No other reasons, bro. Keep Raymond in your wallet <laughs> for whatever reasons necessary. Uh, for for whatever means necessary. Like, I, I urge you, bro. Yeah, dude, I urge you to go look it up. Go look up eBay or really any, like, selling website where it has to do with selling just random stuff and search Animal Crossing Raymond. He sells for at least $60. It could be less. It could be more. But he is selling up there. You got a top. You got the top character, bro. You got the top character. <laughs> I 
I have four pieces of fencing left. What should I do? I guess I'll close off the yard just a little bit. I feel like he wants a spacious yard, you know? He's a sporty person. That's what makes it so so tough. It's like you get into your, your villagers' personalities that you don't... And, and you start making decisions based off of how their personality is. Like, normally, I'd just be like, I'm just going to close this gate, whatever, get over it. But now it's like, he needs to have room. He needs space. Screw it. I know what I'm doing. You just went to YouTube, and you write a lot of people want him. I told, I'm telling you. Yeah, man. Uh, like, when it comes to YouTube and, like, announcing that you have Raymond, that's probably not the best way to go about it. If you want to, like, make it known that you have Raymond, you would want to look up the Reddit the, the Animal Crossing Reddits, that's where all the all the people are. You go to that, and people will, like, flood you talking about, can I go to your island and get him? So, yeah. But again, he has to be moving out. If he's not moving out, then they can't get him anyway. They can come over and just look at him and drool over him, but they can't take him from you unless he's moving out already. So you have to make the, the decision to get rid of him. Otherwise, they can't take him. Oh, and once you get the designer tool, the game opens up so much. Like, if you don't have the money to make bridges and stuff, what I did for the longest is I just used my designer tool and I just made a path. I made a little flimsy path across each of the... Like, this was water at one point. I just made a path across it. I'm turning this into a road, so this is going to stay this way. But, like, if, if you don't have the money for a bridge, just use your, your tool... Use the water section, which you have to buy with Nook Miles, by the way. You don't just get it from the get-go. You have to farm up Nook Miles. So do not abuse your Nook Miles. As a new player, stack your Nook Miles as much as you can. You should have about 15000 by the time you get the designer tool. And you'll want to buy the two most expensive designer, uh, the two most expensive features, which I believe should be, let's look at it real quick. Cliff construction and waterscaping. These are the first two things you want when you get that designer tool. Then you'll start working towards your paths. But this is the, this, the waterscaping is the absolute most important. This you can get later. This is just really adding or reducing cliffs. But this allows you to basically close up or open rivers. So if you can't get somewhere and you're annoyed of whipping out your little totem pole, whatever the heck it's called, your vaulting pole, and you just want to cross, and you don't want to spend money on a bridge yet, just use the waterscaping tool, and you can do this. And there you go. Yeah, people were swinging fishnets at him. And I'm looking like, hey, turn up over here. <laughs> if they're swinging their fishnets, it's because they were trying to, they think that getting him upset at them is going to make him want to move out of your island. And they don't realize that in this version of the game, because in other games, villagers can move out just for moving out. They could be like, hey, I'm moving out, and they're gone. Here, you get to decide. So he, no matter what they do to him, he is not moving out of your island unless you say so. So anytime he asks, just say the top option. Never get confused by how they word their, their I'm leaving phrase. Every time that question comes up, just hit whatever the top option is, and they will stay. I have done this 50 times over. The top option is always the I want you to stay option. What else was I doing? I can't talk today. What else was I doing, guys? Oh, <laughs> I got into talking. I just ran off. I was over here fixing this pathway here. See, this is good. This is good. He, Bam wants a big field. He doesn't care about fencing or anything like that. He just wants a big field. So this right here should be good enough. He's just got a nice open gate area. I could probably put some shrubbery on the edges, but he's got a big, a big yard. That's all he wants because he wants to be able to play basketball, soccer, football. 
He wants to do all that right here. In fact, I'm about to go bring that basketball court to his area. That's what I'm about to do. I've been trying to figure out where I wanted to put that thing. He put his trash can. Because your turnips were like 440 and you posted it to people uh, so people could sell them. And once they got to my island, everyone would get sidetracked by Raymond. <laughs> that is so great. That is just so great to hear. Like just to say, oh, look, look, I get to show you. Look. See this? This is literally what it's going to look like when they possibly want to move. Let's see what he wants. But see, you see how he didn't want to move. He just told me, oh, hey, I have something for you. And he's just going to hand me a random globe. That's what's going to happen. You have a 50 50 chance that that same animation. Remember that animation. That same animation is what you're looking for for anyone you're trying to either get kicked out or who might just happen to have something random for you to have. So if you don't, if, if someone's got that and you, you're afraid of like, oh, they're going to talk about moving, just ignore them. It doesn't matter. They're not going to move out anyway. So just ignore them. Oh, that's how Jack Keese was. And you thought you were stopping his career. So you let him go. <laughs> that's that's great. Yeah, I got I, I was the same way. I was like, what the just touch the ball. How dare you touch the ball? Oops, I didn't mean to talk to you. I just wanted to hit the ball too. But yeah, 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 that's what happens. They'll just get a little bubble. And I told you, they, they do it all the time. It doesn't affect them in any way. It's just basically the friend, people, people uh, have been thinking, oh, the, the meaner you are to your villagers, the sooner they'll leave. When it's literally the opposite, because all being mean does is just have you interact with them. That's all that's doing is letting you interact with them. But, <clears throat> but at the end of the day, the only way that they really plan on moving out is by you just talking to them and one day they get a bubble on their head and 50, 50, 50, percent of the time it's them wanting to move out. Chrissy is literally my favorite because she's just got the best attitude in the game. Look what she calls me, man. Look at what she calls me. How do you hate a, cha uh, a, a villager that calls you schnookums? <laughs> I just don't see it. And that's my alt Mabel. That's my alt character. I was trying to make her look like M Mabel from uh, Gravity Falls. It didn't come out very well. So now I've just got a, a botched name character that I never use. I mean, you can make her look like Mabel quite close, but there's just not enough customization for your character to make it look the way I really want it to. So I just kind of abandoned that project. But I do still need to switch to her so I can uh, get her house moved. So I need to drop some money off to her so she can do that. So is using the Nook Miles ticket worth it? Bro, using the Nook Miles ticket is only worth it if you just need villagers in your island and you just want to look for villagers. You don't need to use a Nook Miles ticket to visit islands. Not, not player islands. If, you're just, if you just mean to visit random islands, it can be worth it if you know the system. And that's only if you're trying to make money. If you're not trying to make money, then the Nook Miles ticket is practically worthless. You're better off just saving it to use like Reddit accounts or, or um, Discord accounts or Discord you know, groups to talk with people and use those Nook Miles tickets to buy their items. Because a lot of people want Nook Miles tickets because they're doing the same thing. They're trying to go to all these islands looking for characters because that's the most active way you can do it compared to trying to like hope, hope and pray that it's in a campsite. Cause that's the other method. You have a campsite method and you have the Nook Miles method. The Nook Miles method is better when it comes to being able to do it instantly, but it's got worse ratios while the campsite has better ratios, but it only happens every so often. So yeah, it's, it's, whew, I'm glad I didn't have to deal with that. I just bought amiibo cards and I got all the villagers I could have ever asked for. So I'm good. But if you want to do that, sure. Otherwise, I don't think they're worth it at all. I almost never use them myself. Like I've, I've had 60,000 Nook Miles and I've spent 40,000 Nook Miles worth of, uh, of points 
on tickets just to sell, I mean, just to use those tickets to purchase items in the game. I've used about 50 Nook Miles tickets to buy like maybe a third of the Nook Miles items you see right now. That was more important to me than getting one random villager out of a hundred Nook Miles tickets. <clears throat> like, yes, if you really just want cute villagers and you can spare about $20, go to eBay, look up your Amiibo cards, hopefully you can find some cheap ones of specific villagers and you can bring them and you can just do the campsite method. It's, it's, it's lengthy, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's a lengthy process, but once you've done it, you've done it and, it, and you're good to go forever. But if you look at my village, uh, let me go to my resident area. That'll let me show you all of my villagers. Wait, no, there should be another method to doing that. Yes, there is. Map. So th these are all my villagers. This is my alt. I just made her a redhead, because like I said, uh, trying to do the little gravity falls thing was just a failed attempt. Uh, we've got Lily. Lily's the cutest frog in the game, hands down. Like I said, she's almost $30 as an amiibo. I spent five using my using the little the little card reader thingy. Fuchsia. I don't care for fuchsia. I only got fuchsia because I thought she was a maxed she was a she was a match set with Francine and Chrissy. And then I, I found out that they're completely unrelated. So now I'm trying to get rid of fuchsia because I would rather have one of the other deer females because they are much cuter than her. So I've got, but she's still a cute option. So I mean, I'm not gonna diss her too much. I've got Pierce because he's blue. Literally only have Pierce because he's a blue eagle. I wanted a lot of blue villagers. Hamfrey, he's got a lot of blue accent as a hamster. So there you go. You have a pink alligator. Wait, do you have the pink alligator with hearts? Like she's got heart spots or something like that or heart eyes? That is a, yes! You have, dude, that is one of the most popular gators. That's like one of the most popular villagers in the game. Keep her. Oh my goodness. You got such a rare island already, dude. You like have no idea how many, like you've got two highly sought after villagers right now. Gale can be bought by Amiibo. So, I mean, she's not crazy. Like I say that a lot of people don't want to spend money on their villagers. They'd rather spend Nook Miles or Bells, which honestly is the better option. Like, why would you want to spend real money if you don't have to? But uh, yeah, she's a very sought, a very sought after character as well. <laughs> Let me go paint. <laughs> yes, please. You have no idea how insane villagers are in this game. Like how passionate people are for certain villagers. Do not get rid of villagers just because you don't like them. Do your research. You might get one that people actually want and they'll even trade you like something really good for it. What about Tipper? She's a cow. I don't remember who Tipper is. She doesn't sound all that great. <clears throat> Usually a lot of the popular animals, I, even I know because they're just that popular. And I don't know a lot of the villagers, just the popular ones. You know what? I'm a searcher. All the, all the villagers you mentioned, I'm gonna just search for them. Okay, let's see, Tipper Amiibo. No, Tipper is not sought after. She's very low tier. She's someone you can get rid of. <clears throat> Wait, you have Renee? Isn't that the, the reindeer? The deer villager reindeer? You seriously have Renee. <laughs> I think you've got a, a, a legendary island there. Let me search Renee. I'm pretty sure that's the... Uh, I think I typed it in wrong. She's a horse. Oh, okay, she's a horse. Okay, I thought she was the moose. I thought she was the reindeer. I was about to freak out. For you to have even two out of 10 of your villagers as rare as they are. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you said she's a horse. Horse amiibo. Okay, this tells me all the different horses.
Um, I don't even see a Renee as a as a horse option. Is she a new horse? Do you seriously have two of the brand new villagers in your island? And you said their name is Renee? Maybe a donkey? There isn't a donkey. They don't have donkeys as villagers. I'm gonna search Renee Animal Crossing. See what comes up. Yeah, I think she's the new villager. Dude, you got two of the brand new villagers. Renee is the new horse of Animal Crossing New Horizons. So she's got she's she's uh she's got a black snout, like a a dark purplish black hair, pink hair, and she's got like earrings on one side on like like two little earring ridges, and then she's got blue hooves. Yeah, you've got the new you got the new one. You have two new <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now I know Renee's not as popular as the others. But she is still sought after because she's a new villager and she looks good. She looks really good. You have two, no, you have three hardcore villagers right there, my man or my lady. <laughs> okay, look, I, I even have a picture here of all the new villagers. There's three of them that people actually care for. No, there's four. You've got two of them already, Renee and Raymond. Then there's Ruby. Did you notice that all of them have R's for their names? What's up with that? So anyways, you've got Renee and, Ru and uh, Raymond. Then we have the, there's a red fox. I mean, a red wolf. She's a, an orange and red blonde wolf. That's someone, that's one that she, everyone's really going after. And then there's this like blue goat, this baby blue goat that everyone wants to. But yeah, dude, you're already doing magnificent. You've got God tier villagers and did, yes. You, you, you literally are out here with God tier villagers and didn't even know it. I am so glad you came here and found that out. That is great. That is really great. Like to think like you can be so much more proud of your villagers knowing that other people literally are crying because you have them and they don't. <laughs> that is gold, man. That alone would just hype. Like what you need to do is you need to build each of them a extremely fancy neighborhood. Like, put them, when you get to that point, put all three of them in one spot together, make a beautiful little, like, pond area in the back, like a gated community, and just, do just go all out. You're trying to get rid of Nani, Nan, but he's refusing to leave. He's so boring. Okay, so, the, again, the trick here. If you're willing to time travel, just time travel by a day at a time. Talk to everyone if you can. You don't have to. It doesn't really matter. But just time travel one day at a time. Eventually, what, you're, what you want to do is every time you time travel, go up to them. Look for them. You have to have them. You have to make sure that you see them each day. When you see them, see if they have a, a cloud on their head. If they don't, skip to the next day. You don't even need to save anymore. Oh, time travel. Well, here, I'll show you because I need to be. I should have time traveled like literally an hour ago. Uh, let me make sure I got everything done here. They gave me a random globe. Don't know what I want to do with that. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and time travel. I'm going to save up all my progress because I did way too much to lose it. No, 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 no. Juicy girl, this is what I live for. This is what I want in my streams, bro. You're doing exactly what I would like to be done almost every day if I could make it possible. So don't feel sorry. You're doing more for me than you think. And I love that. I appreciate that greatly. So now that I've saved, we're going to go here. System settings. Go to system. Date and time. You turn off synchronized clock. Unless you want to go back to your normal day. It'll synchronize it back to how your day should be. And it won't affect anything. So just remember that. Let's say you time skip 50 years in the future. If you synchronize your clock. It's going to treat it as if you've only gone up, you've only went up one day. And even then, it's going to treat it like nothing ever happened. So if you go back to your normal date, your flowers will no longer be watered. 
but they will not breed. It's going to treat it as if you went backwards in time, which you did, but it's going to treat it as if you only did it by a few hours, not a few years or a few months or a few weeks or a few days. So yeah, once you go back in time, uh, oh, lost my train of thought. Sorry. So yeah, so that you turn that off unless you need to go back to your original date. Then you come over here, you select your time zone. That's still kind of, kind of relevant. Then you go to date and time, just go up one day, depending on how you want to fiddle with this. You can, if you need, if you want the shop to be open, you know, make it somewhere between, uh, 10 AM and 10 PM or 9 AM and 10 PM. Uh, or you can just make it beforehand if you want, if you feel like you're going to be playing all day and it's going to open up eventually anyway. So yeah, so I'm going to set mine for, let's try, we'll try 4 p.m. No, we'll go back, we'll go back up, 1 p.m. Perfect, okay. And then you make sure you go all the way through, press OK, that'll save it. And you come here. Oh, I'm sorry, you have to exit. If you if you change your time and then just go immediately back into the game, it will not update. Have to close out, which is why it's always good to save your game before you time travel, because you might accidentally screw something up. So save your game, come out, close the game, set your time, reopen, select your character if you have any, and then go in. Crap! I knew I forgot something. I was supposed to switch to Mabel so I can move her house. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll do it. I'll do it today. It's no big deal. I keep forgetting every time anyway. Now, this part is always the most obnoxious part. because It seems like it takes five minutes just for this thing to load up. But it's a it's a minor thing. So in time traveling, do you save after you travel? I mean, you don't have to. Like once you go into the game, you don't have to save. Like if you if you're just trying to like jump by the days just to see if they're if that specific villager wants to leave, you don't need to save. You're not trying to do anything. Just don't grab items and stuff. Like don't do anything that might be meaningful if you're not planning to save. Just walk just search for that villager, see what they're doing. If they're doing what you want, which if they're not doing what you want them to do, just go back to the home screen. Just immediately go back to the home screen, close the game, and then change the time to the next day. You don't need to save anything. That mole dude doesn't show up anymore. He doesn't blabber off all day and stuff like he used to do. You just 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 open up the menu, change the date. You can save when you either they've done what you want them to do, or there's something you might have happened to do that you feel like was meaningful enough to require saving. Those are the only two reasons you need to save. Sorry, got a random message. Oh, look at my little bud starting to grow out from my bushes. Okay. But yeah, so that's how you time travel. And look at that. It's like nothing happened. Look at him. Get it, bro. Get it, Sterling. Oh, look at that. You got your little teammate. Y'all working out together. Hope y'all ain't dating.
So you time travel, speak to everyone, but Nani till you No, 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 that doesn't matter either. Speaking to everyone but that villager does not matter. I have done, I have talked to specific villagers countless times, and they're still the ones who end up asking me to leave. It's all random. It's literally all random. All you need to do is make sure that you can see them every day. You don't need to talk to anyone. You need to just walk up to whichever villager you see you're trying to get rid of and just make sure that you see them. If you see them and they're not doing what you want them to do, just move on to the next day. You don't need to interact with anyone. All you got to do is just make sure that when you come when you come back into the game, you're looking for that for that thinking expression with the bubble. If that if that if that specific villager doesn't have the thinking expression with the bubble, go on to the next day. If a different villager has the thinking expression with the bubble, go on to the next day. It doesn't matter. They're not going to leave automatically just because you didn't talk to them with that expression. That's just there to be there. So unless that specific villager has the thinking expression with the bubble, just keep on going by the day. You don't need to save or anything. Just, okay, that villager doesn't have the expression. Let's move on to the next day. Eventually, they will show up with that expression and hopefully it'll be to move and not just, hey, I want to give you a balloon because that would be very depressing. Very, very depressing. Look at Lily. Look at Lily. See what I mean? She's adorable. What's she even doing? I don't even want to talk to her. She's so cute. And she just goes, <laughs> she just goes right back. Oh man, Lily is just too adorable. Yeah, trust me, once you get the hang of it, which you'll catch on so quickly once you once you've started doing it, once you realize, OK, so I'm literally just logging in, doing nothing and waiting for an expression. If if the expression isn't there, I literally just leave the game and go to the next day. You are you are virtually doing nothing every time you log in until you see something that you see that specific villager with an expression of wanting to leave on their on their head. Whoops. Okay. So did this get demolished yet? I think it did. Trees are growing. Oh, oh, check you out. What you want? Ugh. I don't even have all the reactions yet. Like they're, they're over here giving me all this random stuff, but usually whenever they call me, they're trying to give me new reactions. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine more reactions to learn. Maybe it's because I never learned, I never actually used the newest one. That would make sense. Like you actually have to use, no, I've never had to use it more, whatever. Okay, cool. See that got moved away. I really am tempted to make this like a basketball. That'd be so cool. Let's put a basketball court right here on the top tier, on the middle tier. I'm going to take this to Bam. Oh, okay. So you went to his house and he was on the toilet. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? That's amazing. That's hilarious. They're like, hey, I heard you're trying to get rid of me. Well, here, I'm going to sit on the toilet and take a deuce while you come in. He's already spiteful towards you. That's perfect. You'll have him out of there in no time. Let's see, where are we gonna put this? Where is this gonna go? Ooh, it would make so much sense to put it right here. Oh, too big, gotta stretch out a bit. There we go. I mean, I could do it kind of like any normal house, right? They always have it like right up their driveway. I could put it right over here by his driveway, but uh, I would need to make some kind of concrete opening. Can make it happen it's like you wouldn't be playing basketball on the grass so let's move this here 
Bro, this is so, like, legit, this is, like, so fun to do. You would think, oh, this has to be, like, painful and frustrating to think of all this different stuff to shift around with your animals and your villagers and, and like, all the landscapes. And it's like, no, the entire day, you're just, your mind's just moving, wondering what you could do next, what you could do better. Beautiful. Oh, got to activate my island designer again. There we go. Let's build him. Oops, that is not the right path. It'd be cool if you could get some kind of set, like decent sized vehicle in the game. I mean, I guess you have bikes, that's something. But it'd be cool if we could make a garage. I would totally put a garage right here. That way it would, it would be like the typical neighborhood basketball hoop. It. Excellent. Over. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, that's beautiful. He needs a little more room, though, so we've got to keep going. Dang it. I can't do that. Whoops. So you just did the time travel for two days and Raymond tried to leave. <laughs> <laughs> that is gold that is such gold doing the time travel and the first thing that happens is raymond tries to get the heck out of dodge dude that's beautiful but wait how many villagers do you have the less villagers the easier it's gonna be like if you only have let's say four or five villagers Granted, you know, the same villager could do it. Oh, you got all 10. It's not a big deal. Like, it really doesn't matter. It's still going to be about the same chance. But usually, obviously, having less villagers means less, less running around because you can find them more easily. But yeah, it's all good. I've had 10 villagers, and I've literally had each and every villager in my island ask me to leave at least three to four times. So just with that, with that statistic, you will easily... You will easily get him off your island soon enough. It might take you like a month in time traveling, but you're only time traveling. So it's not like you're spending an entire month to get rid of him. You're maybe an hour or two. I feel like this is the better pathing to use only because I already use it like as the actual pathing, like for the road. It's kind of like concrete, you know? Granted, roads and concrete aren't the same thing. It doesn't, like, mold together like you would do in a, in a town, in a real-world scenario. So keeping it the same color, I think, would be the best option. And then moving it just a little ways over to the middle. Yeah, this is good. See, this is a good... This is big. This is like actually playing basketball. Like, if you could actually play basketball, this would be a decent size. Obviously, it would still be a little small, but we got to look at ratios here, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, that's good. Now I need an actual basketball. I have a soccer ball and a football, but I don't have a basketball. I would have to put it right here underneath it. It would be perfect. <clears throat> Bam's house or Bam's yard is coming out pretty nice. Granted, it's like three items, but when, it, when you think about the kind of person Bam is, the yard is perfect. Like, it's just open. It's got a lot of sporty stuff involved in it. Oh, I got to put down his tennis table again. There we go. You know, I could put the tennis table in the sand. Yeah, yeah, we could say he's got a little bit of a of a sandy yard. We could say that's part of his house. It's still close enough. Yeah, excellent, excellent. We'll keep that. I would want to play in the sand if I'm playing table tennis. Screw playing on concrete. Okay, we did that. 
I'm gonna toss that cycling shirt. We got a globe we're not gonna use. Is it a different color? My globes have all been blue so far. And it's still blue. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad thing for me since my island is built around being blue. Oh, and some of this stuff is actually interactable. Look at this. Granted, it's not for food. <clears throat> it's for your clothes. Some, almost everything revolving around storage is built around your clothing. It's not built around putting fruits and vegetables or anything like that. Just more clothing. <laughs> so that aside, it's still nice that you can interact with it. Oh, and your trash can is actually a trash can. It's not just for looks. You can actually throw stuff away. Like I only have one thing to throw away and boom, it's gone. It's actually gone. It's one of, a, it's one of the most beautiful quality of life features they could have put into the game. Someone lost their book. I'm not worried about that right now. I guess I need to craft another set of these fences. Woo, yeah, let's go ahead and craft these fences. I need to craft these fences. I've got a spare incline I can place somewhere too now since I removed that other one. Why are you at Jack Keese's? What you stalking him for? Oh, and look, he's just chilling. That did not touch your mouth at all, bro. Did not touch your mouth at all. Got that all over your shirt. It's that time of the day when I really want a snack, but you don't want to ruin your appetite either. It's not ruining your appetite. It's just fulfilling your hunger, you know? Oh, all these branches fall. It's like the most annoying thing about trees sometimes. They like dropping wood. They like dropping branches. I feel like I want to do more with this house. I just don't know what. Like being on the side of the ocean, you would think he'd have more of like a beach house kind of look. At least when it comes to the ground around him. And gasoline shouldn't be that close to the, to the ocean. We're going to move that. I don't know why I had that there for so long. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, there's no room, you say? Of course, of course. Okay, so do you save once they agree to moving out? Wait, did you already get him? But yes, once they agree to moving out, you save the game, you can revert back to your normal time, but if you revert back to your normal time, it treats it like the same day. That's what, I'm, that's what I was trying to say before. When you revert to your normal time after time skipping, it treats it as if you never started the current day for that day. Granted, everything that took place that day when it came to talking to people or completing quests and all that kind of stuff, that still, st that saves, that sticks with you. The only thing that doesn't save when you revert back to your normal time is your flowers being watered, and pretty much any kind of like grass vegetation type nonsense, like your tree growing. Instead of it going to stage two, it'll still be stage one. Also, your turnips die when you go back in time. They do not die when you go forward in time. Some people don't know that. You now know that. This is Sterling's house, by the way. Just don't, I just don't know what else I want to do with this, with this space. He's got such little space here. I mean, he's a, he's a guard. He's not worried about what's, he, what's going on in his house and all. I think I could do him better justice. We'll figure him out later. Same with old girl here, Fuchsia. Granted, I'm trying to get rid of her now. Still. And she's asked me to leave like three times and I kept saying no. Like, oh, I know I want her here. Nah, I really don't. Not anymore. Chrissy, you adorable beast.
Hmm. We got a TV and a radio. I don't know if it's a stereo I've ever had before. Because mine is blue. I don't think I care to put this in anyone else's room. Jack Keese already has one. That's what he's about. So, I don't need to buy it for anybody. I have a TV, on the other hand. I already have a TV. If I really want another one, I can just catalog it. I forgot to do the thing over here. Pick him up. Place the T-Rex head. Yeah. Ooh, I sure hope that fits. Kind of getting worried that that's not going to fit. It should fit, though. It should fit. Put Godzilla here. Oh, there's room. Don't give me that board. It's because there's a hole there. That's the wrong. Gotta get rid of the hole. You have that TV? I don't know if there's even that many different types of wall mounted TVs. I think they're about the same. Woo! Goodness. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, we're good there. Oh, I still haven't went and gotten this fossil. Oh, wait, no, I just picked up this fossil, didn't I? Yeah, trying to get him where he needed to be. You had a really tiny TV. Dude, yeah, we start off with those crappy TVs, and then we finally get something that's actually worth a dang. Yes, finally, I got something new. All righty, now we continue. I need to put a ramp. I know exactly where I'm going. I need to go grab that real quick. Well, we saved 100k since we can't move the museum. Or since there's no reason to move the museum. Still not going to be anything like what we wanted. I need to move these trees. So I need to eat some peaches. I don't want to chop them down. I just want to move them. Oh, do you know about the peach technique? Or should I say the fruit technique with moving your plants around, your big heavy plants, as well as breaking rocks to have them respawn in different areas? I can teach you that. Oh, see that stop yawning. Goodness. Wow. Hey, I just noticed something. One of my, one of my things. There we go. What should I? Oh, crap. I didn't mean to hit that. Yes, we're going to make a new incline. Build a bridge. Let's make an incline. Yes.
Ugh, Nook, you talk too much. You talk worse than blathers sometimes. Okay, now that we got our incline, we're going to come over here to the edge of my island so we can get a second story built to be able to reach the third. It's funny that I decided to put the third story first without being able to climb up to the second. We're about to fix that. I love all my little fountains. Look at that. It looks so beautiful. Gosh, that looks so good. I did really good with this, man. The thing I started out with none of this. This was literally nothing but trees this morning. Nothing like the trees are in about the same spot. It was nothing but trees. I, I t guarantee you the pathing wasn't here. None of that. This little whatever the heck you call it wasn't here. I did all this since this morning, man. Going ham. Still haven't done anything with this outside of, you know, having the playground. Oh, geez. After time traveling, you got shrubs everywhere. No, it should only be a few. Just a few. I've never had more than like. Like if you if you time travel more than, say, three days, yeah, you might be in trouble. What the? I think people are now starting to realize that you have to go. So red only shows up in your secret beach, it seems. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But it seems like Red only shows up from the from the beach behind your island because I haven't seen him at all in the past like week I've time traveled up until now. So, with that advice, you need to get access to the back of your beach. It is there for a reason. It's not there just to be random. He actually comes to this part of the beach. Oh, but wait, I the, another okay, so look at this. He comes over here and it's cool that they actually like happen to make use of this, but he's actually somewhere on my island right now. And once I talk to him, then we can go back into his his boat. That's cool, man. They did so well with this. make a modification here the cliff above might collapse oh i'm scared i feel like i might not be able to do what i what i want to do here build oh this is bad i can't place it here because it's going to overlap the other one. Oh, i lied <laughs> i lied jk I don't know though. Like that's completely taking over the pathway, you know? I have a better idea. I have a better idea. We're gonna have to move this tree. Pick up this tree. Okay. And we'll just place it here instead. That way, it's in the corner rather than right, in, right smack dab in the middle. Oh, nope, still didn't do what I wanted it to. I want it in the corner, please. I need it in the corner. The corner. Yes. Oh, perfect. See, that looks good. That looks good. Yes, place that. You made progress today. Custom design, fix this. That is the wrong custom design. Oh, why do I keep putting it up? In fact, I'm going to just finish this right now. I'm going to finish this whole design spot. Like It's all going to be the same anyway. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. Yeah, 
That doesn't matter. We'll fix it later anyway. We'll go to about there. That should be good enough. Crap, stop it. Oh, by the way, was it raining when you time traveled at all? Raining causes breeding. It causes breeding and your stuff to grow more. So be weary of that when you time travel. Uh, it'd probably be best to gate off any flowers you don't want growing too crazily. Because I had to sit here. Luckily, I had a friend help me big time. We basically sat here for like two hours straight just picking up all the flowers that spawned because of all the time traveling. I did. So definitely be weary of that. If it's raining, fence off any flowers that you have on any part of the island that you don't want overrunning your island because you have to dig them all up. Can't just run through them. Can't mow through them, which I don't know why that's not a thing. Have to dig them all up. That's a, that's a pain. That's something you just don't want to do. And there we go. Got it completed all the way up to the back of the beach here. Yes. And now we're going to pay for this to be completed. Well, that's not too expensive. Too bad I still have to do this for like two other things first. Move that tree. Now we need to find a new place for it. I don't want my cedars all in the same spot, you know. Got one here. Got a big open space here. I haven't done anything. What am I going to put here? Hmm. Oh, and I just thought about something. I can't do the whole... Do second story cafe if uh if I'm out of incline, which I know I am. So I'll have to stick to having it a one story. Unless I decide to just move someone over. That's another option. Like I can move Jackie's down. I can move Ken over some move him like over here place him there and then all of this over here would essentially be cafe like back here i could make it a big old dining area which would be amazing if you think about the view yep i have a new idea i know what i'm about to do these guys are about to get a renovation It's so expensive to new buildings, to move buildings. Yeah, it's like 50,000 per building. That's why doing uh, turnips is so valuable. I got 2 million off of that. I could have made more, but I didn't want to be greedy. I don't know why. It's like, it's not a big deal. <laughs> but yeah, I need to go make some more money. Because when I'm done with this, I'm probably only, I'm probably only going to have about 500K left. Because I have to move like four buildings. That's two, what is that? Four buildings, 50,000. That's 200K right there. That's for moving buildings. Got to move her building. I think that's still 50,000. And I have to upgrade this building. because I need it to be big enough for her to use one second story and then all three of the side stories. So that's pretty expensive on its own right. But yeah, so now I have a new idea. I guess I need to get cracking, cracking to it. Get it, get it going. So I have to move Jackie's first. Then I'll move her. Then I can move Ken. That's how I'll do it. Jackie's, her, Ken. Let's go on over here to the residence. Get, get this done.
Still so many trees in my pocket, man. So many trees. <clears throat> Wait, let me check. Let me check my villager. I mean, my my island rating. It was a four before. I wonder if it's a five yet. Three. That didn't tell me anything. Okay, so natural stuff is good. Okay. Improve natural landscape. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so basically, I lost rating because I took I I took away a lot of my flowers. I had a ton of flowers for the longest, and flowers for some reason is a big impact on your village rating. So I mean, I'm gonna get more flowers into my village. I just have I just don't want random ones in there. So yeah, that'll that'll be fixed in time. But first off, let's get this completed. Just finished the, what's it called? Now we're trying to move the keys. Yeah. Top museum, tailors, campsite, island home. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Taking my money. Is Jack Keys considered smug? He looks like someone who would be smug. I'm pretty sure he's a smug, just from the look of it. Just from him talking all the time. He's got to be a smug. Yeah, he's a smug villager. Figured. Figured. They're basically those, like, like, they're those villagers who are, like, basically calm and collected. They don't ever really go too crazy with the things they do. And that's how you know that they're smug. Okay, we're going to place him basically right here. Gonna flatten this out a bit. Oh, we probably don't need to do that. If we put them like right here, it should be fine. Oh, way too. Okay, we got some moving. Gotta get these flowers out of the way. Ooh, I hardly have any room for it. Damn. Pardon me one second. Okay. His dogs are still outside. Oh, Jackies, Jackies, Jackies. I figure out what I'm doing with these flowers. I can just put them here for now. Oh, come on, man. Don't do me like that.
I gotta dig this up, wasting my usage on my shovel. I can always just put them here. I just don't want to have to use my shovel too long before I get to customize it so I can reset it. Oh, customization. If you customize your tools, uh, it only takes one customization little booklet thingy and it resets the amount of times you can use it. So if you feel like you've used something a lot and you don't want to have to go spend 2,500 bells just to, just to fix it, just uh. Get a 600, just get one of those little customization things and change its color. That'll, it'll reset the, uh, the counter. So it's like you bought a new one at a third of the cost. I don't have any gold tools yet. Nope, 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 nope. I will eventually, but not yet. Hmm. This could work. <clears throat> I might need to see what Ken's doing first. If I, if I can put Ken right, right in front, right on top of him, see? Yeah, I can do that. I'm going to put Ken right on top of him. It would just look better as long as I keep them all close-knit, you know? We're going to do that. We're going to put him here. You got the slingshot? Well, you got the gold slingshot? Did you buy it or find it or how'd you do that? That's awesome. Okay, so now that he's moving, I can uh, pack up all this crap. And I just planted these trees too. That's funny. I just did all that work for nothing. No, 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 no. I take it back. I take it back. Most of this can still be in use. I probably, I'm, I'm going to change the fencing itself, but the layout, I can keep the way it is for what I'm going to do anyway. As for Ken though, I need to do something there. This needs to change a bit. That's funny. I did. I literally did all this work around their their housing, just to move them at the end of the day. They saved so much time here. <laughs> Luckily, Ken didn't have much to. To move anyway. I didn't even do much with him. I'm going to put him right on top. Place his trash bin. That all he. That was all he had. Trash bin. Dang. I did him wrong. And now I believe we just go on to the next day. Like I was able to build a new incline and move a villager in the same day. Still need to do something with this pathing. I want to do more here too. I want to make this more of a community site. Like right now it's kind of just bare. You can't do anything on the residential area, which is very annoying. But still, I can plant some more trees, maybe put some fencing around it, make it look real nice. Yeah. I'll probably get rid of this pathing. They don't need pathing to me. Oh, you shot a balloon out the sky. And the die was in it. Wait, what? Oh, wow. It gave you a gold slingshot DIY? That's legit, man. 
I'm super jealous of that. I even started ignoring my slingshots because I don't think it's ever giving me anything good. Now, you do get some bells out of it. That's always nice. Definitely nice. Ooh. What are you making, sir? I already have this. Hmm. Trying to think what I want. Like how vertical fencing. I don't want to set up his fencing until I have his house placed. Once that's done, I can figure out what I want to do. Uh someone might want this dog house. I'm trying I'm trying to keep a hold of my DIYs because eventually I might want to trade them off to other players. To get stuff that they have that they might not want. According to Reddit, that's how you get that's how to get the gold slingshot. So you shot every balloon you've seen and bam, it fell out of the sky. <laughs> I mean, I typically do, too, and I've never gotten the golden slingshot DIY. That's fortunate, man. I'm super jealous. And I must I can almost guarantee that the golden stuff, the golden tools don't break, correct? And if they do, they just take a long, long time. It doesn't count if you don't do anything meaningful. If you just shoot up your slingshot and you miss 2,500 times, it's still gonna be there. But you have to hit stuff. That's what counts towards the durability. So if you're hitting like a thousand things, I don't think it breaks. Pretty sure you can have it forever. I could be wrong though. I could definitely be wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and water these. I need more so I can start planting them in places. No, they break like everything else. It's just fashion. Oh, wow, serious? Like they don't at least have a better durability? I would expect them to at least be a little more durable than what you currently have. If you're using gold ingots to make them, that would be cheap if they still break as fast as an iron ingot weapon or a tool. They seriously break just as fast? Wow. Well, then what's the point? Just to flex? I mean, I guess that's why expensive things exist in all worlds. <laughs> That's still kind of disappointing, though. I thought it was an actual upgrade. I want to destroy this and make this again. Only closer to the inside of this, of this crevice here. But... At the same time, I'm just, I can't be bothered. I'm sure I know I'm going to do it eventually. But for now, nah, I ain't worried. Okay, well, that's it for this day. So I'm going to go ahead and time skip again. We did everything we wanted to do here. Oh, it's getting late. Ooh. Can't sleep yet. I got so much to do. Okay, now that I moved Jack Keys, I should be able to, uh, oh, I didn't even try to see if I could move my main character at the same time. I feel like you can. They break just as fast. Yep, just to flex. What the heck, man? 
I don't even like the golden tools. I just thought they were the, the next option when it comes to having a more durable tool to be able to do stuff more often. That's, that's depressing. I don't even care anymore now. Thank you for mentioning that to me. I will stick with what I have. <clears throat> Gold ingots are too hard to come by, I'm telling you. Yep, that's how you were. <laughs> that's what, if, if for real though, how are they gonna just ignore the progression of your tools like that? Like the tools you use right now are considered pretty good. So if we only have pretty good tools, where's the excellent tools or the perfect tools, you know? Okay, let's check on Jack Keys. He's moved. Excellent. Oh, let's go check on our incline, the new incline. Come here. We shall hither to the new incline. Look, trees are starting to grow really nicely. Look at this. Oh, that's a work of art. That is a work of art. I'm gonna take two of these <laughs> only because I don't want to have to craft new ones. I'm gonna take these two, then I'm gonna come over here back to my museum. Damn. But you, but you did get a die for uh, this all gold outfit that you made. You know, that you know, that's not breaking. Oh, so you got the gold armor, bro. I had the gold armor too. I never, I never actually crafted it yet, but. I have it. There it is. You got the golden armor. You need eight nuggets. Woo! But it looks nice. I wish you could actually fight with it. <laughs> oh. Wow, dude, I am yawning way too much. I don't know why I'm yawning either. I'm not even sleepy. Oh, yeah, look at this. Progress. Easy progress. Oh, look at that. I can't walk. I can't fly, Godzilla. Come on now. There we go. I gotta have room, man. You gotta give me room. What else do I have in my... Just a bunch of trees still. Cedar trees. I don't know what to do with them. Oh, look, we got another blue rose. This one's going in a special. Oh, wait. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to create a huge sanctuary first. Because the bigger the sanctuary, the easier it is for me to get more blue roses. And then I can use those blue roses. To place a uh, place across my entire area. I don't even know if I if it's worth it to like water all four or if I should just water the three and be done with it. I'm pretty sure as long as one is watered, it can still mate with one that isn't. I wish someone would have tested that.
Hey, Jack Keys, now that you've been moved, I need to go talk to. Oh, what's going on here? Do you know which color balloon it was? Was it a green one? I know specific colors give you specific things. Bro, if that was it, if this was legit the golden <laughs> the golden slingshot, I would laugh so hard. So green is a pretty good contender when it comes to DIYs. I just leave all this stuff near her. You see this? I just put it all next to her. She doesn't have a lot of stuff. We don't even have to touch these. We can just come straight up here. Take all of his stuff down there. Whatever room we have. Oh, look at the, look, 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 look. My wooden flowers are blooming. I needed purples to, uh, look, so what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to craft, per I'm trying to grow or breed purple ones, purple wind flowers, so I'm able to craft this item. Because I can't craft this item without purple wind flowers. I have literally everything else you see on this list, except for purple wind flowers. And I need the most out of purple wind flowers. Wooden flowers? It's a flower stand. No, no, it's 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 actual flowers. It's in a it's in a stand, but the only way to craft it is that you have to have all six of these flowers, which I do, except for the purple wind flowers. Now, where do you see wooden flowers? Are you were you talking about you were talking about the flower stand, or did you mean something else? The stand. Yeah, no, it's real flowers. They they move around in the wind and everything. It's real flowers. Now you do like the floral stuff in this game. They keep it. They keep it legit. They know that that's like the selling point of this game. And this shovel is gonna break. I have so many things. I'm probably gonna have to pull up again. It is table. Oh, I don't have a table yet. We have his chair though. Okay, rock guitar, we'll put Yuka. Oh, right. Flower. That keys don't care about no flowers? <laughs> Not at all. Let's get the rest of this. Oh man, it's gonna be crazy when I'm done with this, dude. It's gonna be crazy. I'm not gonna know what to do with myself. All this effort.
I feel like he would have his guitar somewhere closer, either this table, I mean this chair, or his house. He wouldn't just have it lying around like junk. No. Be somewhere accessible. Yeah, see? He would sit down, he'd grab it, and then he'd just have a seat and play his tunes. Yeah, absolutely. Keep that. Move this here. The fencing we'll just leave up for now until I uh, do what I need to do. Other housing. Then we have Ken. Ken, we got to get you out the way, bro. We'll test it. We'll, t we'll go to Mabel after I move Ken and see if I can move both of them. See if uh, being a player makes it separate from something else. Oh, wait, did I, did I time skip during the, the moment we had Red on the island? Did I already go and skip that? I meant to actually talk to him if I could find him on my island. Crap, man. Yep, he's gone. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. What day was it? It was on a Thursday that he came by. I'm so excited to invite people to my island. Oh my goodness. It looks so alive now. Like, you have no idea how bland it felt to me before. Like, everyone was still saying, oh my goodness, your island's so amazing, yada yada. And I'm like, I mean, I haven't really done anything to you. And then I saw Pastelias, and I'm like, okay, that's the last straw. I gotta do something to this. That is too good. Someone says my island looks good after saying that. After seeing that. We got problems. I want to put a coconut table right here. Put a table with the coconut juice on top. Yeah. And you got to have your swimming pool. I got to get. Oh, dude, that's the. God dang it. That's the next end game. Whoops, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I know that might have made a loud sound. Forgive me. But uh, my next end game is outfits. Getting an outfit for every scenario. I need a swimming outfit. I need a camping outfit. I need a home outfit. I need a shopping outfit. And a, uh, a, a, a an exercise outfit. You, you you know where I'm coming from. You never know what's real. What do you mean? You never know what's real. What do you mean? Oh, you mean the paintings? Whenever I was talking about uh, red coming to the island. I wish someone would come to this campsite. I've, I've had like five visitors from that already. I just want to see what it looks like when the tent's up. Look, oh, it's going to look so good. It's going to look so good. And look at the Hamfrey, dude. I finally gave him a yard. He was just, just bare bones back here for the longest. And he's finally got a decent looking yard. I'm just so satisfied with my progress with my village. No one feels too, too uh, neglected aside from Ken. Ken's been heavily neglected. We're going to change that. We need to get him some ninja stuff. He's a ninja character. So he needs to, he's like training equipment. He's almost no different from a jock. He just trains in a different way. So like I need to get like Zen a zen garden kind of feel for him like balance scales or or uh one of those <clears throat> one of those like wooden punching things that like twist around as you hit them i don't know if they have anything like that for for the game
Right, Ken, you're up next, sir. <laughs> I never seen the chest bump. I never paid attention to it. Oh, wait, 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 he's going to be on the top floor. What am I doing? I don't know here. Okay, here we go. And see your magic. Um, that did not pan out the way I wanted. Imagine, I think that's exactly where it needs to be. Don't kill any of my flowers. That looks perfect. I think that looks perfect. Can't be, it couldn't have gone any other way, can it? If you look at that, that's, that's about, yeah, that's, that's parallel to each other. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Flowers growing here. Garbage bin, we paste, we post now, we plate. Goodness, I can't talk at all. Okay, we got that there, leave it there. Now we've got a whole decent. Once we move these flowers, we can probably do something here for him. He's technically already got a gated spot here. He's sharing a lot with another villager once we move my other character here. And then here, just gated off from the tree. I think I'm going to move the tree. Where's my fencing? There we go. Okay. Put a fence back here to close it off. Put one here. And uh, I think... You know, I still don't think Ken cares much for a yard. He's a ninja. He's all about training. He'll probably be away from his home more than anything. But just having a cozy abode is decent enough for him. 
We need to make sure that people can still cross through here too. So, uh, I could probably go down there and stretch this out a bit. That's probably what I'm about to stretch out this cliff side here. That way there's more walking room. Probably just seal him off right here. Yeah. So I sealed myself. Excellent. I think we're good. We're good with Ken for now. We'll, we'll come. We'll return to him down the road. He doesn't need me. Now I need to switch to my other character. We can move her house, or at least see if we can. Go ahead and save. Wait, did it actually save? I might have been too fast. Yeah, it saved. Okay. For Mabel. Ah! Excellent. And back in we go. Juicy Girl, what are you doing right now? Like, on your island, what are you currently, like, focused on? Is there something that I can probably help you with? Okay. Now let's go see if we can get her out. Get her moved out. Where's her real clothes? What was I doing with her last time I was on? Like, I can see the hoodie and the shoes. We'll worry about that later. It's not important. And I didn't drop her any money. Ah, I see you can't. Okay. Well, at least we know. The more you know. Sorry, you were in the kitchen, but right now you're hunting for your pig. Oh, okay, so you're just you know, using some Nook Miles to look for that specific pig. Which pig is it? I feel like I know which one it is, but I don't know for sure. Obviously, like I can't, I, I'm not a psychic. <laughs> we need to put you in some cooler looking. Before I go back to my...
Crap, she only has pink shoes, doesn't she? Option. <clears throat> we gotta put her in the parka. You just want a pig? <laughs> oh, so you're just like legit looking for a pig. You just want a pig somewhere in your in your village. I understand that. There's a few ugly pigs though. I really hope you find a cute one because there's a lot of ugly pigs. There's like four good ones though. So that's good. Yeah, I need to get more hairband type stuff. So pink, goodness. I don't know if I like that. Like, I always imagined a super cute female alt character, but I kind of want her to look cool. I'd rather her be like a, like an Android 18 cool looking attractive, you know? Can't be having this uber cute kawaii nonsense. She's gotta look like she can kick butt. I don't seem to have any like kick butt clothes for goodness, man. What is wrong with me? Oh, oh, wait, space parka. Maybe denim pants. That would be a cool look, wouldn't it? Yeah, that looks way better already. Wait, what is she wearing? Denim pants? Denim pants. Oh, it's just different colors of denim pants. It's somewhat better. <laughs> Hard to tell, really. Wait, maybe if I use the denim shorts. Because her, her like socks look really cool. You know, like they actually goes with, well, it doesn't go with this at all. I would need to get like, pink. I could have sworn I had pink ones. I think it's on my, it's on my main character. That's why it looks so janky. So then we'll just have her wear the freaking pink. Hold up, my villager moved out. I came to a, uh, to an island and no one is here. Is that possible? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? So, be, uh, I need a, I need precise, a precise description of what just went down. The, the not, the villager you wanted to move out has moved out, but there's no one on the island. Are you saying that the villager is preparing to move out? or that they have completely moved out. He's completely gone. Did you check his spot? Check his spot to see if someone if someone purchased his area. Because whenever villagers move out, their lots go up for sale. Now, as far as I know, the lot will never be sold the same day that they move out. But I could be wrong. You might be that unlucky person in which someone moved in the very same day that they moved out. So check to see if their lot has been sold. If their lot has been sold, it's the same as a villager living there, and you will not find any more villagers in the islands.
Don't want to waste your ticket. Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel that. Getting all the resources you can while you... Oh, wait. What the... I thought I logged into my character. I mean, I... no, 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 I didn't. I meant to log into... He already knows that. The other thing... Bamboo wand... I think it's smart to keep all the wands. You never know who might be looking for the wands. Just a specific one to go with their character. Woman, where are you going? Where am I taking her? Oh wait, it's raining! Dude, this is what I need. I love going into the summer months because there's always rain. I need rain. Lots of it. See, raining waters all the flowers. Oh, it makes me so happy. That's a whole day. I don't have to deal with watering them myself. Splish, splash, I'll be hanging about. All right, let's get her out the way. Workshop. I need a workshop for when I can already make half the stuff you're trying to teach me. Oh, sweet. It's cheaper for us. Crap, man. I wonder if this is connected. I already know it's not. One can, one can hope. What the f- oh. Got 10k in here. That's not enough. And I earn 30k. I don't think- We can try plan B. Wait, didn't I get any more buds? I did.
Look at how nice that looks. <laughs> I almost want to keep it there. Almost. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I got to be careful on this side. Because you can easily wipe off the custom. These custom uh, patterns. Careful. I got to make sure I'm only picking up the apple. Ooh, what the freak? That apple had nowhere to go. This should give her, like, literally just enough to be able to make this next up, or to be able to move the neck out. Oh my goodness, I knew, I knew it was going to happen once. Get back. Go. What is that? What on earth? <clears throat> Eighteen thousand. Oh, because I got rid. <laughs> because I got rid of half of my orchard. I still need to earn 8k more. It's hot today. Maybe I can craft something. A deer scare and a wooden full length of meat. One thing she can't make yet. Now I'm trying to think, what could she do to earn 8k more without having to go to the character? I don't think I can avoid it. I'm just gonna have to go to my other character. Oh, 
be nice if I can just easily trade money over or something, you know? Hope it is what it is. He came close. Oh, wow. That's what I get. Someone moved in named Stinky. Uh, yep. Yep. I knew it. If there's no, if there's no one on your island, that means someone moved in. Absolutely. Stinky, though. That's an odd name. Who is that? Is that like a... I don't even know what that would be. An, an anteater, maybe? Goodness. You're about to find out. Oh, you haven't seen them yet. I got you. Hello there, Isabel. Welcome. Things I have to do for this alt. Look at Jack Keys over. Like another day, another dollar. <laughs> Freaking Jack Keys, man. Look at now, Humphrey's all by his lonesome. But it's okay. Humphrey wants to be alone. He's a he's an independent hamster. We don't need no cage. Look at him. He's got a beautiful yard, wonderful ocean view, a campsite right in front of him, probably taxing the heck out of him. But he's Humphrey. He's got this in the And for you, awesome, bro. Awesome. You're a heck of a lot better than that orange one I had the other day. <clears throat> Excuse me, Jack Keys. I'm just going to, you know, drop some random money. I'm just going to drop. See? But you know what? You know, I just realized she doesn't need that much money. I'm just going to, uh, Yeah, that makes more sense. Just give her what she needs. Excellent. Leave again. She can move the heck out. Juicy girl. <laughs> Let me guess, he's hideous. It's a cat, looks like a wrestler version of Raymond. <laughs> I so oh, yeah. I think I know exactly who you're talking about. He looks like a superhero almost. I know exactly who you're talking about. Because I did a tier list of him. I did a tier list for all the villagers, and I remember seeing a cat that looked like a superhero with his mask, and I was like, nah, he's not all that. He got to go. Look at that. Easy money. Oh, she swindled me. She already had money. I forgot. 
I didn't have to give her the whole shebang. There's something annoying in my left nostril. Yes, yes. I'm Audi. You went into his house, and his house is literally a wrestling, a wrestling ring with animation wallpaper of people cheering. Dude, I need to see that, though. That That's hilarious. Like, Bam is almost similar. It's just that his, uh, his wallpaper is garbage. He doesn't have the whole animation with, like, the crowd cheering and all that nonsense. See? He's just got steel a steel wall he's got a he's got just a corner of the wrestling ring here and that's it his house is quite small oh, wait what am i doing he's crafting something i'm just like about to walk out I don't even know if my main character has a jungle wall yet. I have to look into that. Ah, yes, here we go. Okay. So this character is essentially moving in to uh, follow her dreams as a pastry chef. So she's about to open up a pastry business. Got to see what would be the best spot. Here's the entrance. Could clear out this open. Put that here. What on earth are you doing, woman? Oh my goodness. Why is it so difficult to just hit the fence in the middle of these trees? Thank you. Okay, so there's the entrance. move this tree over. Gotta look. Gotta be some. Or I can move this one. I know what I'm going to do. Do you have any fruit? Of course she doesn't. <clears throat> Luckily there's things all around her that do. Why is that the first op op And
Haha! <laughs> Perfect! That's an entrance. Place her house. Oh, look at that, dude. I think that's going to be beautiful. Imagining. That's like literally perfect. Genuinely perfect. I don't think I want it to be any other way. This is excellent. Enough space all around. Yeah. Heck yeah. Well done, Mabel. Well done. Please. Guess we can figure that out later. We already know what we're going to do here with the whole, whole outdoor dining area. Guess we got to get to it. Now, with her being near a campsite, I feel like she would want to fit the theme camp, campsite living, the camp life, outdoor life. I'm going to make her outdoor theme around the look, the log, the log. Yeah. The log section, like the log. Uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> the log design, all the different log type designs. I'm going to put that over here. That'll be her dining area. I'm gonna have to get her some kind of corporate outfit. Okay, well, she's moved in now. Crap, why didn't I just give her enough money to pay off her debt? Well, we did it, Juicy Girl. I've almost completed, like, the base product of my island. Now I just gotta do some cataloging. And I got to pay off that house probably like three times to get it where I want it. Crap, man. I didn't mean to do that. I need to, I'm going to make, I think, one, maybe two more alts on top of that, depending on what else I want to do. Like if I feel like I can do a few extra themes. To my characters, it'd be pretty legit. You're trying to get rid of Stinky. <laughs> oh man, good luck to you. I mean, at least you managed to get rid of one pretty quickly. I'm sure getting rid of another won't be that hard either, you know? Now that you know how it works, it's a breeze. Like compared to what you people kept telling you before where you think where you had to be mean to them, that's literally what you don't do. You just keep interacting with them. Every day you see them, just you don't even need to talk to them. Just look at them. If they're not doing anything, just go away and come back the next day. Simple as that. So yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. Don't forget the campsite is also an option. If someone, if they mention something about someone being in the campsite, even if it's not someone you like, if it's better than the person you have, try to get them to kick them out and then you can just work on getting rid of that character and at least they're less of an eyesore on top of it. Some of these villagers, I feel like they made them ugly on purpose. Just for the fact of, oh, hey, you don't want this villager here. Now you got to work to get him out. To, to, just to add longevity to the game, you know? Hey, there's something I need to get out of my island. I'm going to work to get to doing that in some way. Woo! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful homestead. Oh, look. The golden tree spawned right in the middle of my... You know what I have to do? You don't just get a golden tree spawn right in front, right in your front yard, man. Oh, 
put that away. Um, I'm gonna go drop some money by my alt because I try to pay off her loans. Look, Jaquise, look at all this room you have now. Need to go take her her crafting stuff. I am so glad I did this. This is this just makes so much more sense. This entire spot is hers. Got a whole venue she can essentially create here. I'm going to put her workbench here. This is where she's going to start working on her dreams. I'm going to put... Where, where's her other item? Garbage bin. Garbage bin. Where are we going to put that? Right here. There isn't any pink garbage bins, so I can't give her anything feminine. But that's okay, because the restaurant itself will be very, very beautiful. Ooh, man, this looks good, man. Looks really good. I'm almost tempted to move her an inch to the left, but I, uh, it's not going to matter. Because when I move her, it's just going to shift it from the left side, from the right side that she's on now, to the left. There is no middle. There's no middle ground here. So I would just be basically wasting money. You cannot get into them badly. I wish you could, but you just can't. But I say that, but aren't, isn't my house in the middle? Let me go look at my house. But my house has three spaces. You can't do it if you're only two spaces wide. See, my house is one. The door is one space in the middle. Yeah, my house is three spaces wide. That's why it's considered in the middle. If we go back to Mabel's house, Hers is only two spaces wide because of this pathway here. So yeah, it's not going to be this. Anyways, let me go ahead and drop this. Dang, I still got plenty of money. I thought I was going to be like dead poor after that. Wait, why am I dropping it here? That's not her. <laughs> That's Jack Keese's place. Bro, I'm, all, I'm like, my body is so used to where she used to live. I'm going to drop it right here. This will be dramatic. Boom. Wow, it's supposed to fall in the middle. Tried to fall. And, and see, look, this is, once again, the, the bell didn't fall in the middle where I was standing. It fell on the right side or the left side. I really hope that stinky journey doesn't last too long. Stinky sounds like a horrible villager. Dude, look at all these flowers. Look at all my blue roses that have grown. Yes, dude. Yes. That completes my fourth square. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. They don't need to be. We got plenty of blues now. I'm gonna start planting these flowers elsewhere. They've done their job. I think I've got enough blues that I can breed probably at least one flower a day, no matter what. If I can breed one flower a day, no matter what, then I'm Gucci. There are no blue lilies. I was really hoping for blue lilies. It's the nicest looking 3D flower. I would want to put that around quite a bit. But Lily of the Valley is blue, and you can breed it. So, anything, I'll do that. Okay, so for these blue buds, we're going to take them. We'll keep, we'll keep pansies here. We'll, we're going to make pansies exclusive to the museum. I want to put each flower in a specific spot, and that'll be their native zone. So we've got some uh, hyacinths around here where the, where, the, uh, where the Mabel sisters are. Got their whites and their blues over here. I don't know if you... I'm not going to let you see it. It's on the front there. Uh, then we got some orange ones that are, that are more rare. They're blossoming only right here on the corners. Then we've got some cosmos, some pink cosmos here on the corner. Orange roses up there at the top. A family of cosmos that are more common right here together in the corner there. Got yellows growing with the oranges. A purple, very rare. Growing at the bottom layer there. So where are we going to put blue? Blue 
Blue here is going to be a common flower. It's obviously not a common flower, but for my town, it's based around blue. It's gotta be, it's gotta be blue. You don't see blue anywhere, there's a problem. So we're gonna put them here on all the like edge type places. I'm gonna close this off eventually, but for now I'm gonna use it as a breeding ground. Yes. So once they start growing a lot of blue roses, we'll be able to put enough here, fence them off, take the rest of the children elsewhere. We'll just keep doing that. As my, as my blue roses grow, I'll just keep moving them to the places they need to be. Still need to work on this cyclist center here, concrete it up, but I haven't gotten any customization for that yet. And water our family of blue roses again. Man, this game takes so much of your time away and you don't even realize it. It's so good, man. So glad I was able to get this game. Whenever the, whenever the pandemic hit and I thought, and we were all thinking, oh man, all the stores are going to close down. We're not going to be able to get Animal Crossing. We already pre-ordered. We're not going to be able to go pick it up. And literally the day came and we were just all gasping with joy and relief. We were like, yes, we can at least survive the pandemic with Animal Crossing. And sure enough, Everyone else had the same idea. All the freaking switches got sold out. Some of my friends were like, yeah, I went to go buy one, but there wasn't there. And I'm like, ooh, tough. That is a rough life. <laughs> I have got to clear some space. I've got too much stuff going on here. I need to go back to Mabel so I can pay off her house too before I forget. Um, white roses, where are we going to put white roses? Kind of have a thing going on here. I guess I'll stick with that. There. There. I think I need to close this off. Yeah, let me, I don't want them overgrowing. Actually, I take it back. I need some more purples. So if it means that I can water these, they can start possibly breeding more purples. I can start play. Wait, 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 what was that? Look at that, look at that. I'm already getting more purples without even trying. Take that, you. Okay, put that. Uh, I forget where I was trying to place purple. Oh, duh, <laughs> the valley. The valley's edge. Here. So now that I have two purples over here, thank goodness, these two will start breeding. And once they start breeding, I'll have tons of purples down here, which I can then, I can then place elsewhere. Go ahead and part of them. Give them a nice quick start. Nice, nice, nice. Oh man, this is shaping up to be a dream come true of an island. Everything's so well placed. It feels like my entire island is worth like walking around to. Ooh, I missed a square here. Dang it, I was trying not to have to activate island design. Juicy girl, I'd love to see your island once you get to this point. Even like even at the beginning, I don't even care like if you haven't developed it yet. Uh, some of the starting islands, even if you've just done a little bit of work, end up looking really nice. And then in, like as you just add on to it, it only gets better. Like a lot of my friends were freaking out about my island like two weeks ago, and I literally had nothing going. This was bare. My trees, all I had was I had, I just had an orchard of trees. I had no benches, no fountains, no flowers, no no custom flooring. It was just trees, just a bare zone of trees. And now look at it. It's like a freaking heavenly garden. This right here didn't exist. I didn't have these two slopes here to lead to the museum. I tried fixing the door to where I can walk up. I keep telling you, when it comes to two, two squares, you can't line it up. It has to be three or more. Sadly, it has to be three or more. 
So that's not going to work out. But it's okay. Like, it's still great. It still looks good. That's all that matters. Got my nice waterfall with my double bridge up there. Got this specifically different colored bridge based on the fact that it's a park. It's a special place, so it requires a special looking bridge. You love my island? Juicy girl, that makes me so happy to hear. You're just buttering me up inside. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. And like everywhere I look, it's like, hmm, I could do this. I could add that. If I had this custom design, I could do this. And that's what I like about it. I don't feel like my, my work's ever done. I feel like there's always something else I could add to it. Here especially, I know right here, I should be adding an entire road here that either leads to my place and or the uh, community center. Community center itself, I need to make better. I kind of want to, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to move these trees or at least straighten them out to where they look better. Maybe put square, maybe put the trees surrounding the entire community center. Like I'll put trees here with flowers and fencing. Then I'll round off, put trees here with, with flowers and fencing. And then just keep doing that. I'll, I'll shorten my pathway to just the one person thick. And then I'll cut everything in the front, right? That everything touching the community center, I'll erase and then put flowers and stuff there. Yeah. This, I can probably scoot down a bit. It, otherwise, it just blocks this road and that would be difficult. <clears throat> Your island is tragic. Now define tragic. Is it just simply a bare island? Because I mean, you just got the game. That's not a fair thing to state because you just got the game. Of course, you're not gonna just get the game and have an island that's as developed as mine. That wouldn't make sense, right? Like your island could be amazing for where you are in the game. That's how I look at it. Your island isn't hideous just because you don't have 50 DIYs that allow you to make it like as, as OP as some of these other players. And I like simple. Oftentimes someone can, I can go to someone's island. They just have a different island. That look, they just have an island that looks different from mine. And that alone makes me just awe inspired. Like, wow, I wish I had this set up over here with the, with the mountains and the, and the bridges and stuff like that. Like just that alone sometimes makes me kind of jealous or envious of someone's island. It's an interesting island. Yo, I want to see it one day. You'll have to show it off to me. We're going to make that happen. I really don't know why I have this patch of grass here. I think I was going to make this like a, a miniature farm area by planting trees next to each other. If you plant saplings next to each other, they'll never grow. So you can treat it as if it's seeds coming out the ground, like, you know, carrots or vegetables, any kind of farm crop. And I'm debating if I'm going to do that or not. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, my toy tire. Um, I'm collecting my toy tire. Hmm, should I keep it this way or flip it up to where you can see the person sitting down? Actually, better yet, I'm going to go take it over here. I don't know if I even need two trees right here next to each other. Like, that even... Like, there's no problem with it. I don't know. I just... I start turning into a stupid critic of my own island, and it's just so troll. I get, like, thrown, thrown off by my own inner opinions. Oh, I tried to look cool. I tried to get and <laughs> Oh my goodness. How do I miss twice? Oh man. I tried to like whip it out and just go dash up to it to pop it. Whiffed. Then I thought, okay, oh, I'll just pop it normally. Boom. Whiffed. Dang, that's embarrassing. Oh, you know what? This is cool. I like this. Put my painting set right here on the ground at the edge of my dock. Like I have a like a young a, a young niece or nephew who just happened to come over every now and then and use my little painting set on the on the front porch. I'm gonna keep that there. That looks that's cute. That's really cute. Heck yeah. Um, this doesn't belong anymore. I don't have a garden here anymore. I could put it here. I mean, this fence garden is. Could put. Fountain, I guess right.
Yeah, that works. I think that works. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. <clears throat> Okay, I got to get back on track. What was I thinking about? What was I doing? I had dropped money from my alt to pick up so they can pay off their house and get it upgraded. I needed to get to the point where they have at least two to three rooms within their house. That's a man. She's going to blow all my money. I'm going to need to go. I'm going to need to go sell some more turnips. I'm going to have to go look up some uh, turnip selling, see if I can find somebody. Make me some more money. That's going to be expensive. Hey, what's up, Jackies? I still need to turn this road. There's so much I still need to do. Oh, I love it. I love it, man. Uh, fencing. Do I still have vertical fencing? I sure do. Look at that. Nothing but. Look at Jack Keith. He's got a huge, huge amount of land now. But how much of it do we actually want him to have? I don't think he needs like this entire wide stretch. I could actually do something here. I could turn this into more of a foliage type thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of his stuff. Other side. Come on now. Work with me. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Pick up flowers. Sure, why not? That's more important. Okay. Lay out some more fencing. Come on, come on. Oh, all this trash in my freaking pockets right now. Yes, let's toss some. White roses, get out of here. Uh, I don't want to toss these white roses. I'm gonna plant these somewhere for them to give me more, more white, more white roses. But uh, log bench pot, I need to drop those. I think that's all I need to get rid of. Everything else I plan to use. It's oh, I can get rid of that too. I don't need that cycling. Okay, so next, to plant his bench. And, and see, look, I could even probably put flowers or something behind here. I guess I can just move his pot back. That'd be nice. That's decent. And I need to get the table back. Oh, Lord. Didn't mean to do that. Yes, yes. You still sit on that? Oh, that's legit. That's legit. Okay, we'll keep that there. Better yet, we'll move it in front. It looks better when you can see the chair, you know? I feel like, I, I hate when stuff like takes, like it, it blocks other things off because it doesn't feel like it's there. You move his trash can back. Okay, we can move the car back. Can we still read his? Yes, we can. You gotta try really hard, but you can still read it. OMG, Stingy is like, nope, I just got here. I'm not leaving. <laughs> it will happen, Juicy Girl. It will happen. What, what are you doing, Bam? Can't you see I'm trying to work here, sir? Um. Bucket, wooden, bucket, wooden, wouldn't it? You know what? He lives right by the water. But I don't feel like there'd be a reason for him to have it way out here, you know? We'll just put it on the side of his house. That's fine. That's fine. Boom. Easy. Okay. Oh. 
And we'll fence them off about here. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that leaves me plenty of room for other stuff. Got four fences. Yikes. That is not going to be enough. We'll make do. Crap! I hate when that happens. Get the flower, please. Base. Four. And look, still an opening. Gotta have an opening. There we go. A bit wider of an open. Put this one over here until we get more. He's gonna need at least six more. Yeah, definitely. And Jack Keith, you got a lot of space, man. A lot of space. I wonder if like a sandy beach, not a sandy beach, but like a sand area right here in the middle would be kind of cool. Like I have to walk through a slightly sandier path to get to his home. And we can turn it into a beach ball area. So many ideas. Get rid of these flowers. If you're wondering what villages I have, if you're if you're also a new person watching, here you go. Check out my village and all of its wonderfulness. And this village is looking so developed now. It looks so much better than it did. So much better. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but it's just just freaking me out how good it looks now. Now my oranges already have a designated area. Okay. Who was that? Was there someone down there? Oh, it's just a rose. Okay, and our white roses, I guess, like, purples don't need to take over this whole spot, right? So we can probably put white roses on the other side. Like, they can war with each other. That'll be exciting. Put one. We'll put them right here. That way, they can start to breed immediately, having each other diagonal. But others kind of closer to the edge here. Nice, nice, nice. I'm liking this. Oh, crap. I hate when I... This looks so good. Uh, I have here. I don't know if I actually want to cover this yet. I guess I should. But, like, if you look here, it's like it's only coming from this side. As if we did that on purpose, you know? Like, someone came over here and made sure to keep in check that that side stayed wild, this side, and this side was more organized, more cultivated. I think I'll keep it like that. This is my ultimate masterpiece, right? This beautiful rose garden. Ah, oh, how I love you. I still got a ton of trees I need to put. 
In fact, I have an idea. If I can put flowers in front of this, trees behind it. Got three cedars here. We're going to do it. So. Oh, come on. I guess that makes sense. It, it couldn't fit anywhere else. Looks like Jaquise is stretching his land just a little bit more. So what I want to do is it should be fence, tree, fence, tree, and then flowers in front of it. That's what we're going for. Gosh, dang it, man. Why does it spawn behind your butt? I don't understand. Let me just sit right on top. There we go. Goodness. Could put one more tree here. It'll fit. It'll fit. And fence. Perfect. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just put tulips, I mean lilies, right in front of each of these. Two. Oh wait, mistakes were made. I need to plant, I need to put dark flooring underneath first for maximum effect. Yes, 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 now we're talking. Yellow, orange, another yellow, and we'll just keep doing that. As we get more yellows and oranges, we'll just keep adding to this part. Go ahead and water them so they can breed. That's rude. It didn't get the last one over there. We have another yellow already. Plant that ahead of time. So it's not just by its little lonesome. I knew that was going to happen. I knew its time had come. This yellow here. Round off this fence. Come on. Now. Earth is that. Ah, we'll leave it alone. <laughs> Don't know what the heck's going on with the fence sometimes. Okay, so now that that's kind of settled, let me go see where we can put this last cedar tree. I want to put another tree here once I move these roses to cover the the, uh, the swing. That'll look. Could put a cedar tree there. Make this an entrance eventually. Oh, I was supposed to widen this area behind him, behind Jaquise. I never did that yet. 
might never do it because <laughs> I'm not doing it right now. Uh, cedar tree. So we've got two peach trees here, and there's one cedar tree. We could definitely. Are these already kind of being placed with? Anything? I want to turn this into a, di a dining spot. So I'm going to need to move all these trees anyway. This tree is never going to grow. It's too close to the edge. I think until we figure out what we want to do with this spot, I'm just going to refrain from placing more. That's just a waste of. Hey, look at Hamfrey. He's like, yep, I'm going on a picnic through the woods in your beautiful campsite. I'm talking about Hamfrey. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. We already know this is a path. So why don't we just start this? Path? Let me see what my friend Doe was texting me for. Oh, their shoot went great. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Be like A plus material because it's for their their college. Okay, so what do we want to do here? My path has always been the terracotta type. I'm not going to change that. Up. All right, where was where's that going? Oh, yeah, we're getting some. Come on, bro. Nice, 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 nice. I really like the terracotta. If we didn't have the terracotta, I would have went for wood. As you saw at my house, it's also a really nice looking path. No other options, especially. Terracotta is pretty good. Pretty good. I've liked it. I've liked it a lot. So far. I'm gonna make it round off. Yeah, true path. This will lead to my house. Crap, I probably need to, to angle it. Shade higher. Not there. And look, by making that path, I just got an idea for this spot. I can put flowers in the front, fencing, and trees connected to each other right here. And then more flowers in the back. See what I mean? As you do one thing, an idea for something else opens up almost every time. And I'm going to move Sterling away from this outer spot. Like, it was cool when I first did it. It's like, oh, cool. He's got his own little miniature island on an island. But now it's like, okay, he has no room for anything. He, and the, and the, the, the pathing, like, you see all the pathing? It looks horrible. It looks hideous. So we're going to move him. He's going to come right, like, over here. We're going to move him out a bit. And we're going to turn this more into his yard. Yeah. We have, like, his own personal fishing, salt fishing area or something. So he's the next person we're going to be moving once I'm done with all this. Whoops, no, we're getting rid of this. We don't need this.
Gosh, that looks so good. Oh my goodness. This is just too good, man. This game is freaking beautiful. Freaking beautiful. It's been over a month and I'm still playing this game almost every day. This better win game of the year. Hey, hello, if you're welcome. Oh, <laughs> hello, welcome to the stream. If you're new, uh, give me one second. Let me ch show you my village, my island, my villagers, everyone I have. Lily, Fuchsia, Hamfrey, Pierce, Chrissy, Jackies, Ken, Bam, Francine, and Sterling. That's my alt, who's going to be the pastry chef master of my second home. I'm currently working on basically all the pathing and roads and whatnot in my city. I've done quite a bit at my campsite already. I'm just, I'm basically getting it, getting it prepared for my friends to like, let my friends come check it out. Tell me what they think of it. We're going to cut this down a size. I don't think paths need to be more than two spaces large. I think any, any larger and it just throws it. It just looks weird. Two spaces is like big enough. I hope y'all agree. And in fact, when it comes to the community center, it doesn't even need to be right up on it. It really doesn't because that takes away from you being able to put stuff as close to the community center as possible. Like having a little small path just showing, hey, this is an entrance to the community center. Go for it. I'm going to cut back a bit. I'm probably going to round it off still, though. Yeah, see right here. I think that's good enough. Right there. Round it off. Bam. Okay, that looks kind of weird. But anyways, continuing on. Oh, I almost thought that was part of the freaking picture. I almost forgot I put that there. These trees, these trees, I, I planted these trees on purpose. Like, I already fixed these trees up, but they're fine. I don't even need to touch those. I think. Yeah, I, I don't need to touch those. Trees. I can still put fencing. I mean, put flowers here. And then I can put fencing. Hmm. I can't do both. It's either flowers and or. Oh, no, I know what I'm doing. Fencing is going within the tree. Because if you try to do flower fence tree, it just takes up too much. So yeah, it's flowers and then fence tree. Flower and then fence tree. Do I have any peaches? I do. I could move some of these other trees right now if I really want. I really could. I'm going to hold off. I don't need to yet. I don't even know which fencing I want to use for these trees. Is this three wide? No, I really don't like this. It's kind of like throwing me off when I look at it. We're just not going to, there's not going to be a path here. We don't need a path here. There's only like one entrance to the community. That looks way better. That doesn't throw me off anymore. Yes. Now, Fuchsia's place, I really want to move again. Where I have it now is okay, but she's so limited to her yard. And I don't like that I can't really close off the rest of this either. It just, it's throwing me, throwing me the wrong way. So, I think I'm going to move her. Where am I? Where could I move her? Humphrey's area is taken, man. There's nothing but trees and stuff there. Uh, there's not many options, honestly. There's really not. Like, I can move her here, I guess, somewhere, but I don't want her to be, like, I'd be stuck where she is. This is a road. I could put someone behind Lily. I honestly could. House would fit, like, right here. And they'd have a small bit of yard, but at least it would look nice. That, that one bicycle too. I can't wait to get.
I just wish I could change the way this outer area is. That's the only thing that, that I'm not liking. Or I guess I could just suck it up and, and accept that she's just going to have a crappier yard than everyone else. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant a cedar here. That's what I'm going to do. Or if it would let me. Oh, crap. It was an actual cedar. I thought it was just a baby. I know what I'm going to do. He doesn't have a backyard. We're going to just place some of this closer to That honestly looks better already. Because it's not so rectangular. That's what was throwing me off. I don't like rectangular housing. I, it needs to be in a square. For me. So that looks better already. So with that being fixed, we're going to go ahead and close her off. This side. So, oops, that's too far back. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Getting somewhere. Got one left. That's not going to work. Can't put one on that edge there. Yeah, she's going to have a little yard, but that's okay. That is okay. Maybe I can play some. Nope, look at that. It's rejecting me. Dang it, man. Best as I can do. Oh, this looks so much better. I need to put picnic down, picnic baskets down. That'll look really good. Look at all these trees I still need to move here. These are all kind of just there. I, I kind of put them in an organized line just so I can do something with them later instead of having them scattered about and blocking my view. Guys, I'm going to call it here, though. I've gone for almost four hours. I want to thank you all for watching. Juicy Girl, also I'm looking forward to seeing your island one day. So wait, before, before I call it quits, I'm going to leave this up for like a minute. Add my friend code, take a screenshot, whatever you got to do. I hope to get your friend requests, and I will be seeing y'all next time. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't cancel yet. Hold up, hold up. I'll help you out one second. There we go. There we go.